Sorry this isn't HD, I'm hoping this will be quick. Anyway, rooting your phone. Well, you can always go back to normal Sprint, crappy ROM. Um, if you ever have to like take it to the store and get it replaced or something. But uh, see I'm using Radioactive Froyo 1.822 um, with SDX developers. Alright, an advantage is you get access to some apps that you normally wouldn't be able to get use. Like for example, shoot me. Alright, if you want to take a screenshot of something, like for example, this is a neat app and I don't I don't think it requires root. But you push this, push it again, turns it off. Um it's neat. It's called Moment Flash. Can you Moment Flash? One word. Uh, anyways, you get root access to stuff like this. Press it. Um, days when uh, my internet's out, I turn this app on. I push that button. Now I can teether. I played about eight or nine games on Halo Reach. Without any lag at all, I get about 150k download and about 100 upload. It's not the fastest in the world, but it's better than not having internet at all. And uh, you can secure it. You can make it towards like if if it's unsecure, but even if someone connects to it, um, you get to enable access control and. Whatever tries to connect to it, you can uh, authorize it or not authorize it. So, it I just keep it unsecure. Anyways, um, you can play on Xbox Live, but you can't get on the PlayStation 3. Because what it is, is an ad hoc connection. It's not actually a hotspot. So, that sucks because it's not like a router, but it's... It's an ad hoc connection, and uh, anything like a laptop or um, any computer will connect to it as if it was a router, an internet thing. But an Xbox even connects to it. Anyway, it's enough about that. I gotta stop it because I don't need it right now. And um, another thing is you get this application right here called Quick Boot. Where's it at? Quick boot. There it is. Quick boot. And you choose reboot, recovery, or bootloader. Um, you can you can go on your desktop and you can hold down this. Like I'll go to a blank spot. I'll do shortcuts. And once you install quick boot, there'll be this option for bootloader or for reboot. And you just add that to the desktop. So I'll hit reboot, and we'll count. 3 minutes, 30 seconds when I restarted it. Okay, we're at 20 seconds right now. And I have a lot of apps on here too, so... This isn't a stock thing. I've had this for a few months now. Okay, we're at about 40 seconds. We're almost at a minute. 50 seconds. Will it do it in a minute? I'm not sure. Oh, it's a minute now. Damn. Okay. A minute. Ten seconds. There we go. It lit up. It's vibrating. A minute and... Twenty seconds. Alrighty. A minute and a 
half. Dang, this is taking longer than I thought it would. Okay, it takes about a minute and 30 seconds to boot your phone up. And uh, if you're like me, and you apply a lot of update.zips, um, instead of turning your phone off, and then holding down this button, and this button, and this button, and waiting for it to do it, like go to the recovery screen, which is a pain in the butt every time, you just hit that. And every time there's an update, you can uh, go to this screen and apply it. That's my ROM I put on there the other day. I already updated, so I don't need to do it again. Uh, you can go to File Browser and SD Card. And there's all the SD Card stuff. Anyways, so that's just some benefits of rooting your phone. And like I said, you can always go to the Sprint site, download the, um, download the official Sprint ROM, ap apply it, and then Sprint will never know you did this. I'm not going to wait a minute and a half again, but that's just my video of how to root a Samsung moment. Not how to root it. Um, if you want to root your phone... Go to google.com, search for noob NL, one word, N-O-O-B-N-L, and the first link you see is the link you need to click, and he has a whole tutorial on how to do it. It's awesome, and it's worth it, trust me.